What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we're going to be taking our first flight with the DJI Mavic Air 2. Now I've been doing these first flight first impressions videos ever since the DJI Mavic Mini came out, and you guys seem to really enjoy watching them, I enjoy putting them together, and I think it's a really good opportunity for me to set my base first impressions of a drone so that we can then build from there on the channel, learn a little bit more about it, and then eventually master everything there is to know about, in this case, the Mavic Air 2. Now this drone of course replaces DJI's original Mavic Air that came out back in January, January of 2018 so that drone is a little over a year old and at this point it was basically begging for some sort of upgrade or some sort of refresh and in this case DJI went all out and upgraded basically everything about the Mavic Air series with the Mavic Air 2 we've got better performance we've got a better camera better specs all around and of course a brand new design that fits in with the rest of the Mavic line so everything has now been brought up to date we've got the Mavic Mini the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic 2 series with the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom all of them of course cater to different people with different needs when it comes to the drones that they want to fly and also they all have their own shade of gray so that you can distinctly tell them apart. Now we of course also have a brand new remote controller design with the Mavic Air 2 as well and it resembles a lot of the same characteristics as the smart controller which I enjoy the feel of so I have a feeling I'm also going to like this remote controller but we'll go over some of my thoughts as we fly the Mavic Air 2. So let us get this thing in the air. Kind of shook there a little bit it shook there a little bit for a second which was weird all right so we'll angle this down the river put the drone up and fly down man the transmission is so smooth on this that is one thing i love about ocusync it's one thing i love about dji they know how to do a transmission system um okay so the purpose of a first flight is not just to see me mess around and fly a drone it's to go over a couple of things get a good base establishment of what this drone is about we'll be seeing some things like the footage what the what the uh, camera looks like we'll also be taking a look at the transmission to see how things hold up we'll look at the performance go over some things you guys need to know about the mavic air 2 all of that jazz of course of course, this drone also shoots 48 megapixel photos, so you guys know I'm going to be posting some photos over on my Instagram page. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll put a link in the description, or you guys can just look me up. My handle is at Billy Kyle. All right, so we are in P mode right now, normal mode. We'll flip it into sport mode, and we'll start buzzing down the water here. So we are at about 17, 1800 feet. I'm going to fly down to the bridge and then turn around. I can say already right now this drone is rock solid. You guys remember watching my Mavic Mini flight down this water, and you guys were probably pretty impressed with how the Mavic Mini flew, and you can only imagine the Mavic Air 2 is just flying better. There's one thing I gotta do right off of the bat. I have to change the... Where is the gimbal at? There it is. How can we change... All right. We do have to change the gimbal pitch speed. All right, I don't feel like looking for it right now. That's one thing we'll have to change. This gimbal feels very sensitive to me right now. Uh, also, we are just running with automatic camera settings right now because it's a little bit cloudy. As you guys can see, the sun is coming in and out. So we are just running with automatic camera settings. So we made it down to this bridge, no problem at all. I'm spinning around. There's no breakup in the video feed whatsoever. We're at about 3,200 feet, so about half a mile, maybe a little over half a mile. And things are looking crisp with this drone. Okay, let's push it forward, bring it back here. We'll see if we can reach that top speed of about 42 miles an hour. It's not very windy, believe it or not. It was windy earlier today, but right now it isn't. Um, it looks like we're flying at about 30 miles an hour. Top speed of this drone is 42.5 miles an hour. I'd love to be able to hit that speed, but it looks like we're only at 30 miles an hour. Let's try to bring the drone down a little bit. See if we can decrease our altitude. Now, I can tell you guys that as I had the drone just sitting here before I took off, I had a helicopter fly down the water here, and it gave me an ADS-B warning. I'm going to go over everything you guys need to know about ADS-B and AirSense in a whole entire separate video, but that was something that was very cool to experience because it's something that honestly really needs to be covered it needs to be looked out for these manned aircraft flying around we don't want to interfere with them so ADS-B is definitely a great technology that's coming to DJI drones the Mavic Air 2 is the first consumer drone that's got it um, man the sticks feel so smooth even when I'm here in sport mode I can uh, for example right I'll line up along this hill here and I will kind of do a little rotation the gimbal's very sensitive I need to fix that I'll do a rotation here once I get in the groove. Yeah, there we are. 
it just feels very smooth. The one thing about the Mavic 2 Pro is that when you're in sport mode, it feels a little bit twitchy, a little bit jerky. We've got the drone flying overhead now. Uh, it feels a little bit twitchy and feels a little bit jerky. I feel like I can't shoot smooth cinematic video with the Mavic 2 Pro in sport mode. I've got to tone it back down to position mode. But in terms of the sticks, man, when you're rotating left and right, it does feel really nice. I haven't done any EXP tuning. This is literally straight out of the box. I'm just flying. As you can tell, again, my gimbal is all wonky. Now, I've got the drone behind us right now, so it's actually facing the opposite direction. And I can say that the transmission is still holding up really well. I don't have the remote controller pointed directly at the drone. And it's to be expected. OcuSync 2 is so good. Uh, and it seems like in this drone, we've actually got an upgraded version of OcuSync 2. So we can get 10 kilometers out of the Mavic Air 2 when they boast or they... Um, advertise eight kilometers out of the Mavic 2 Pro, which is very interesting. So another thing I like to do with these first flight videos is fly down the train tracks, point it straight down. We can see a really good top-down view. And I also like to go and look for trains. I've yet to do one of these first flight videos where there's a train coming past. Um, all right, so here we are. We're, we've got a top speed of 41 miles an hour. So this is about the fastest we've gotten this drone thus far. 40 miles an hour is totally fine out of a consumer level drone. I never really complain about the speed of a drone. Uh, if it can go 40, it's totally fine. And even with 40 miles an hour, I still have really great control over the drone. It feels so solid. The controller, I kind of said in the beginning, is really great. It feels awesome. Um, they stuck with that same design for so many years that we got with the Spark, the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air Original, the Mavic Pro. Um, we got that same design. We got that same design and they finally gave us something different. Alright, so we've got some trains down here. Let's get a little bit lower. And you'll see that as I approach these trains, it just feels so smooth. The video looks so smooth. And even as I go a little bit lower behind the trees and all the obstacles, we've still got a clear transmission coming in here. And again, in sport mode, it is rock solid. It's something I expect from a DJI drone, but for some reason, I'm always a little bit more impressed every single time I fly a new DJI drone because they've just improved everything from the ground up. Alrighty. There's a truck. Yeah, this feels really good. We'll fly down to this far bridge over here. I wish it wasn't cloudy, or I guess partly cloudy. Uh, I wish the exposure was even throughout the entire video, just so we could get a good understanding of what the camera is like. I love behind me, the hill that I was shooting, when there's a ton of sunlight hitting that hill. It makes for some really good video. All right, so I am a little over a mile away, and man, the video feed is still coming in perfectly clear. I haven't had one single interruption yet. Um, all right, well, as I say that, we get weak signal. So I am flying a little bit lower behind some obstacles down there. I really got to find out how to tweak that gimbal. Now, here's something. A lot of people are a little bit upset that this drone uses the DJI Fly application. I am one of those people. By the way, we're going to turn around and bring this back. I'm one of those people. I am a little bit upset that they use the Fly application just because it's not as powerful as the Go application. It doesn't have as many things to change. Um... But from what I can tell, they have given us a good amount of settings and a good amount of things that we can change. It's not as bare bones as what you get with like the DJI Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini doesn't have all the sensors and all the shooting modes as the Mavic Air 2. There's definitely a lot more to change with the Mavic Air 2, and I hope that they just continue to build the Fly application out because that's the only way that it's going to get better is if they continue to add these updates. So it looks like we've got wind going downriver. That's why every single time we try to fly it back here, we're going, we're, we're getting a top speed of like 20 ish miles an hour. You know what? As we're flying back really quickly, I'm just going to jump into these settings again. You see, we do get some more things like we get the, uh, the button customization here. That's something you don't get with the Mavic mini phone charging. So we can start charging our phone if we wanted to right off of the remote controller. This is a real pain that I can't find. <laughs> How to change calibration? No, not gimbal calibration. It's a little bit upsetting. I know it's in here somewhere. And I'm probably looking right at it. You guys are probably commenting right now that I'm totally missing it. But maybe it's under the camera settings? No. All right, well, 
We'll look for it later. This is, of course, just our first flight. I really enjoy these first flight videos because, as I said in the beginning, it gives me a really good base understanding of the drone and what it's about. From here, I feel like I can make so many videos off of everything I learn in just this one flight. Um, and the first flight is always nerve-wracking. Something can go wrong. You guys saw as I was taking off, the drone was shaking a little bit. So that's something that, I don't know, maybe we'll see if it continues to happen in other flights down the road. Um, now, this controller, the controller... It's good. I think I already touched on it, but it's great. Uh, the original Mavic design, like the Mavic controller that they always used. By the way, we're getting 30 miles an hour now, so the wind seems to have died down. Um, the original Mavic controller, it like opened up from the bottom, and I felt like I didn't really have a good grip on it. I felt like there was multiple parts of it. It just didn't have good ergonomics. But this gives you a solid grip on the controller itself, and the phone is up and out of the way. In my first thoughts video, when the drone first dropped, I talked about how... Um, I really didn't know how I'd feel about the phone being up here on top, but so far, I don't mind it. I think it's nice. It kind of puts the drone up in front of my face rather than down below, and I don't feel like I'm hunching over. Um, I know I never usually would want to wish this, but I really wish that a helicopter would come through so I could show you guys ADS-B. ADS-B, again, is going to be such a great technology. Uh, and I'm really glad that DJI has committed to including it into all of their consumer level drones moving forward. So, this was the hill I was telling you guys about. Oh, here's something I want to test out. You guys can see that gimbal shooting down right now. It's because the drone is pitching so far forward, and that's something I really wasn't a fan of on the Mavic Air. I felt like you didn't have a lot of range of motion with the gimbal. So, let us put the gimbal directly at zero degrees. So, the gimbal is directly level with the horizon, and we will push straight forward. Yeah, see? The gimbal shoots downwards, which is very annoying because the drone is pitching forward. So let's see, we can pitch, okay. So we were able to pitch the camera back up to zero degrees and it still continues to shoot shoot downward. So of course you don't wanna catch the top part of the actual drone itself in the frame, but it seems like they actually did a really good job. It seems like they did an okay job at making sure the gimbal doesn't shoot down. I feel like we do get a lot more range of motion here. Look, I can even actually look up to 10 degrees when pitching the drone forward. So we do get a lot better range of motion over what was the original Mavic Air. That drone, I made a video about how it doesn't like sport mode because it just really doesn't. All right, let's fly it back down. I've been making my laps up and down the river here. Another thing I love to see with this is what's the flight time like, right? So this drone has what, 34 minutes of flight time if I can remember off the top of my head. It seems like right now, ripping up and down in sport mode, we've got about four minutes left on the battery, 36% uh, left here. And it looks like we've already only been recording for about 12 minutes and we've probably been flying for less than that. Um, let's see, our flight time, yeah. So our flight time has been a little under 12 minutes. So you know what? We're gonna continue to fly this around. We're gonna try to get it all the way down to about 15-ish, 10%, and then we'll land the drone from there. Uh, and we'll kind of get an understanding of how much flight time we can expect from this drone when we are ripping with it. So. The drone is coming up towards us. Let's fly it directly overhead here. So I can say right now, I was really impressed with how the Mavic Mini flew. I'm of course always impressed with how the Mavic 2 Pro flies. And this drone is no exception. This drone is no exception. It feels so solid. DJI get so many things right with their drones from the hardware like the controller to the actual software itself like the sticks just feel so good all right so this is a really cool hotel they're building here off of i-76 let us try to flip into normal mode and do a nice rotation around it there we are we are flying a little bit fast here but the good thing is, if I was recording in 4K at 60 frames per second, I could slow it down. Now, in this video, I'm only shooting 4K at 30 frames per second. And my reason behind that is because this is the first flight video. I shoot these videos in 30 frames per second all the time. There's no reason to downsample it. All right, let's see if we can get a better rotation than that. That was ugly. We'll pinch the sticks here. Move into the rotation. There we are. I gotta get used to this remote controller too. 
the sun is starting to come back out so let's quickly try to grab another shot of the hill over here if time allows 24 percent left flip into sport mode get a nice final shot of the hill here so for those of you who are wondering this is maniunk just outside of philadelphia i'm all over the place right now i wish my gimbal was dialed in there we are that's a nice shot so you guys are watching this footage in full resolution. Uh, I'm just watching the transmission view here. So I can't wait to get back and look at the footage for myself on my computer. I continue to mess up with this gimbal. I'm kind of fumbling all over myself here. But man, the drone handles great. I'm a, yeah, there we are. Max flight altitude. Low battery RTH. So right now... We are at 17% battery. We've got about two, three minutes left of flight time remaining. And it looks like we've only been flying for 14 minutes. So DJI boasts 34 minutes of flight time with this drone and I only got 15 minutes. Look, 15 minutes is nothing to snuff at. That's still a really good flight time. I started this with what, about 99, 98% battery left. So right off of the bat, about a 15 minute flight good to get under our belt so that we can get again a better understanding of this drone and how it flies which is just phenomenal i really didn't expect anything less but it still just surprises me every single time there i am standing in front of the camera all right so while this drone is landing thank you guys for coming and watching um i'm really excited to continue to fly this drone even more i really liked the original mavic air and as i said in my first thoughts video there's a lot of things they could have done to improve upon the mavic air two of which they could have made it quieter and they could have given us a better transmission system and they did with this drone ocusync 2 you guys saw i was down a little over a mile almost a mile and a half away and there was basically no interruption whatsoever so stay tuned for some more mavic air 2 videos i am pumped to continue to fly this drone and i hope you guys are pumped to see more content surrounding it because I feel like right now, this is the drone to buy over any other DJI drone. I mean, this really does give the Mavic 2 Zoom and even the Mavic 2 Pro a run for its money considering this is $800 and the other drones are priced a lot higher. So again, guys, stick around for some more content surrounding the Mavic Air 2. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comment section below and what you thought of your first impressions of the Mavic Air 2. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.